this statement. All achievements spring from one person's envy of another. While this might be a slight exaggeration, it does raise the question, what drives you? What causes you to go after what you do? To work as hard as you do? What is the motive behind your drive? Is it because of family and society? Is it driven by fear? Is it driven by want of money at all costs? Is it driven by hatred or envy of what others are doing? For some, nothing drives them at all because they have allowed the past to cripple and imprison them. We are products of our past, that's right, but we should not be prisoners of them. When all of these drives trumps God's desires and purpose for our lives, then we have gone terribly wrong. The pursuit for betterment is not an issue. The motive behind the pursuit, however, can be wrong. There is nothing wrong with wanting to be better, but to do so in a meaningless manner or for the sake of fear is useless. Instead, we are to let the blessing of God be our overarching desire. His desire might be that you don't be a star. You don't be the star of the show. It might mean that you don't know which direction to go in life. It might mean that you come second place instead of first. To be the best you can instead of the best ever. Is it okay with you? Is that okay with you to imagine that all that you have dreamed of will not come to pass? Are you truly okay with that or will you lose it? As I speak, I am trying to be okay with that, with God's weird plans for my life. And so why not let all of us do all the things that will bring glory to God? It does remind me of a passage in our minds. Whether it be how we talk or how we act, we should do it.